Good morning. Do you want to say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Bye. <laughs> we have come to a magical place with a very big queue. You know, like when you're a kid, Just I'm gonna. Oh. You know, when you're a kid and you go to Toys R Us, and that is like the magical place that you go before Christmas. I've come to the adult equivalent, which is HomeSense. I honestly haven't been to a HomeSense in a very long time. I'm excited to do some Christmas decor shopping, just some home shopping in general, just some shopping in general. Ryan has gone to get in the queue because the queue is long. Meanwhile, I'm toasty in here. I actually need to get out, I'll top up my SPF. This is the one that I use at the moment. I use it over makeup and it seems to be working really well because my skin doesn't love SPF. So I need to top that up. I'm excited to bring you with me on my first shopping outing of December of Vlogmas and of like this half of the year. How crazy is that? That lighting is better. Hi, it's me. How you doing? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> this is gonna be the best. By the way, this home sense is the one in Hedge End. Um, bookmark it because it is one of the best home senses. I think it's like the best one in the South, I would say. It has the best stuff. I don't know how it will be having just come out of lockdown. I don't know what their stock will be like, but I am very much looking forward to looking around it because it is like, I have Chichester, which is near me. I obviously have my own one in Brighton, which is like a small one but this is like the big this is the big boys home sense i love it it does like furniture and honestly you have to have a man in a van on standby if you come here and you are like in the market for furniture because it's incredible i find all the best stuff here <laughs> where is he though i need to find him now ryan's just told me he needs to say something notice how i was sent to queue up in the cold whilst you were in the car in the walk it's just how it worked out baby it's just how it worked out <laughs> can't help that what's my hair doing look it goes in like a triangle oh my god you guys i'm obsessed with these slippers they're so cute <laughs> so this place is a joint tk maxx and home sense i'm trying to speak really loudly so that you will be able to hear me under this mask um joint tk maxx and home sense we're in tk maxx at the moment have you been to a TK Maxx before? Yeah. Because Ryan's just declared, I love this place. Like, we've been in here, what, five minutes? Yeah. He's like, oh, I love it in here. <laughs> <laughs> here he goes. I've not even got to the furniture section yet, you guys. I'm not even in, <laughs> I'm not even in Home Sense. <laughs> oh my God. That is huge. The size reference. I think we should get it. Look, it's so cute. <laughs> no, that one's 500 pounds. That's a bit excessive. Look, it's so cute. This would be perfect for that jungle themed room I've got planned in our future. Oh my goodness. Ryan, are you ready to deck your house? Oh my God. I don't know where to look first. Oh my god. Oh my god, home sets just do the best baubles. I love them. Oh, they're like the ones I have on my kitchen tree. I got them from Home Sense. Shocking. Best sets. Oh, now this is a bit of me. I may have to go home with one of these. So, so far I've bought one thing and Ryan has a whole trolley you're worse than i am i like this you can tell this is your first home sense trip yeah yeah it's probably gonna get to the till when you, <laughs> it's when you get to the till and you regret everything <laughs> that is your first home sense trip you know you've done it right if you get that honestly this home sense is huge i will be here for most of the afternoon look at it guys just so you know this home sense stock a lot of the dior catwalk books but also the chanel catwalk book which i have in my house so if you want it and you don't want to pay like the full price come and get it finally going to stop looking at shopping cam with sue this section might get me i am so in need of rugs like my heart is not i knew you were going to look at that one i really like this style of rug i want something like one of these but it has more warmth in it the orange one it would not go in my house but it's cute i like this Mm. It feels like your coat. <laughs> Welcome back to another section of Susie's Bargains. The art attack head. Oh, look, they made me. 
You're lucky Lauren's not editing this one. I only, I only zoomed in on the six pack, by the way. <laughs> Do you remember that kids' TV show where you go into the jungle and all of the puzzles? No. It was on like Channel 3 on like a Friday afternoon. It's like called Jungle Puzzle or something like that. Absolute best section in Home Sense, no contest. Are you sure you don't want the giant camel? I know I definitely want it, but I can't fit in my car. <laughs> I really want the giraffe. I'm gonna put it out there. That didn't sound good. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with the panda as well, I've just spotted it. Honestly, if our kid has a big enough bedroom, they're getting the entire jungle. Simba, Mufasa, everybody. Great. We were in there so long, my body hurts. Does this mean I've like aged like a decade whilst we've been in there? Yeah, it's 2021 now. Oh, thank God. Christmas um, 2021. It's going to be a much better Christmas than this Christmas, I tell you that. We were in there a long time. How was your first Home Sense trip? Loved it. Well, he's been to Home Sense before, but only the Brighton one doesn't count. It's definitely not the same. It's definitely not the same. Um, yeah, it was fun. I'm tired. Are you, are you tired? Yeah, I could do a nap to be fair, yeah. but that's just standard. <laughs> That's just Ryan's life. We definitely need something to eat. 100%. Let's find some food. I think that's why my body hurts, because I'm really, really hungry. The it's half two and we haven't eaten, to be fair. Half what? Half two. <sighs> so we need food. Wow, we've been in there a really long time. Like, I think we got here and it was morning. How did we spend that long in there? Because it was fun. That was the longest I've ever spent in our homes. <laughs> but you did a lot of like Christmas shopping. Yeah. Which means we're not going to be able to show you the full extent of what Ryan got. I'm excited to show them your Christmas decorations. Yeah, same. Mm. We'll get that up on the tree. Yeah. Oh, so excited. We're doing Ryan's tree tonight and having cheese and wine, vegan cheese and wine. It's going to be mm -hmm. amazing. I've, honestly, I've been looking forward to it all week. You know, when you're just like counting down to Friday and I actually had that like Friday feeling last night. I was like, oh yeah. We, I just we, put in food. <laughs> Ryan sat and I was telling us there's a McDonald's nearby, which we know, but... <laughs> They don't do vegan options. Yeah, this is true. What have we got? I just really need some water. Like, yeah, even like I'm dehydrated. you just go to the services on the way back. Yeah, like my skin, my skin and my, you know when you like see your skin and it's starting to like shrivel up like a tea bag, I'm like, oh. I think also really needs pee though, so I don't really know Yeah, me too, so let's find the services. Hopefully there's one near. Yeah, true. Um, we don't need to be having this conversation on camera. No, we don't. <laughs> cheese and crackers and finally sorting out Ryan's tree that's a good looking tree mm. <laughs> unlike mine Ryan's is real what have you got here talk me through this oh these so are the home got, sense bits aren't they yeah so this is what we picked up earlier very cute so Ryan has a very different Christmas tree theme to mine basically the more traditional version of my 2015 Christmas tree and I think it's so cute look I basically this. just wanted loads of little characters. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. I think this is my favourite one. It's really cute. Of course it is though. It's, <laughs> it's <really> got food. <laughs> so we're going to get this on the tree. We're going to get the lights on first. We can open it. Mm. No, I don't think... I think I've had one real tree before in my life. So this is going to be interesting.
today. I have not slept well, so I have like a proper little moly face today. Thank God for makeup. Special mention to the By Terry CC Serum, the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and the Jamie Genevieve. I think this lipstick is treasure. I will confirm, but I'm wearing one of Jamie's lipstick shades and it's just, those three items are giving me life today and making me feel like I'm not i'm not a tired little mole anyway as you can see i've i've done my best to try and like pull it together today but um i think i have some kind of hay fever as well because my nose is just burning my eyes are burning it's not cute but anyway it was dark last night by the time we got back so i didn't get a chance to show you what i got from home sense so i've put a few of the items around my house already so i'll take you around and show you those but there are also a few bits that i haven't gotten around to putting in their home yet so first thing is the dior catwalk book i have the chanel one which is normally on a bench behind me here but obviously that's moved because of the <laughs> ginormous christmas tree in the room and i love having them they're lovely to flick through other people really enjoy flicking through them as well and they also look great on display so i thought this one would be nice potentially in the office for now but could also be a great dressing room or bedroom one i think those are the color schemes that this one goes the best with but yeah i thought i'd pick this up seeing as there's a little bit of money off although i do think the prices on amazon when you buy these books are quite low as it is so i don't know just how much um you're getting off i also picked up this this actually just kind of like fell onto my foot and uh yeah it hurts it hurts a lot um this was 12.99 and it is like proper solid heavy marble i have one of these in a green which was from home sense a few years ago um and it's not really like my kitchen is like a gray with like a lilac tinge to it so the green is kind of like doing this whole uh contrasting color thing and i'm not sure if i loved it but it is also very small and i thought it'd be nice to have a larger kind of marble serving plate just for kind of when i'm doing like wine and cheese that kind of thing i literally don't have anything like that and this will look gorgeous on display in the kitchen as long as i don't break it before it gets there i also picked up some new coasters mainly for the office because the color scheme in there like my pink coasters just do not work in there and these are like a lovely um like almost like a almost like a marbly granite kind of finish and they're just lovely the quality is amazing they're really nice and heavy and like i said a lot of my coasters are pink i either have pink quartz or pink like crystal and um, they're from like west elm and anthropology so quite expensive really so i picked these up and they were 6.99 i always think you can get some of the best coasters for the best prices in home sense i feel like this is such a boring adult purchase but i picked up new pans because quite frankly you can never have enough um this one is also great i don't have anything this like deep which will be amazing for when i'm doing like more sauce based cooking in a frying pan and then i've also got this little one as well and i don't have a little one so these were like the perfect two sizes that i didn't have in addition to the other two which i have which are exactly the same they're from ikea i really like the look of those as well i like the black i think it goes really well in my kitchen but it will also bring a little bit of warmth with the wood tone i also got nala a little christmas present these are like little toys which apparently have like a lavender scent to them so they're meant to be quite good if your dog has anxiety so that little one is gonna have a zen christmas i also picked up some truffle tagliatelle whenever there is pasta that has truffle in it i am going to buy it i can't not i'm very excited to eat this <laughs> i couldn't resist i am obsessed with the uh, jordan skinny syrup there are actually quite a few flavors i wanted to pick up so i got the peppermint bark one which would be amazing with hot chocolates that make them like minty <laughs> and then i also picked up pumpkin caramel scone and then cookie dough. I also picked up salted caramel mocha as well, which is at Ryan's, I've left it there, and it tastes incredible. So very excited to try all of these out. I'm obsessed with these syrups, they are the best. I'm very much into sweet coffee, I know it's not for everyone, but <laughs> this is my jam. And finally, we have a giant bow for Ryan's Christmas present, because it's rather large this year, and I thought this would go nicely with my Christmas tree, because it's got lots of the little bows on it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun wrapping this present i say that it's huge i'm probably going to be a little stress wrapping it actually but adding this on will be very satisfying i also picked up this pestle and mortar um i have a gray one that's this color that normally sits here but it's ryan's and he wants it back and sadly because obviously it is not mine i didn't pay for it so i can't really argue with that so i picked up my own one and i got this kind of stone color because i just think this kind of stone will go in any uh, place that I live. It's quite like a nice neutral, not too dark, not too light. I did prefer Ryan's because it obviously just like blended in really well with my countertop but this one is lovely. I love the texture that it adds and I think once I don't have uh, this green marble 
tray out here anymore i'll put the white one here it should look a lot more neutral and tie in a bit better i also got this little stone pot i think it would be quite useful for a number of things but um i thought it'd be really nice to kind of like group together with a few bits on my shelves and then we have this which is the start of the show in terms of my purchases yesterday i think this is just beautiful the texture of this is incredible this was five pounds guys this was five pounds this would probably cost me so much more if i bought it from like zara home so i'm super happy with it i think it looks lovely on my shelves let me show you so yeah that's what it looks like from afar i love it and then we've got the little one up here as well i think it adds a really nice texture and also a good backdrop to the candles because without it they kind of blend in to the shelves so it works really nicely grouped together these shelves are just coming along so beautifully i'm very happy with them i also picked up this textured white pot but i am not so sure on it i definitely need to find the right space for it it could work really nicely in here but i think it definitely needs to be with the right tones and textures i think with creams and woods it works really beautifully it could also be really nice in the kitchen as well but it definitely needs the right textures around it <laughs> So I think I've perfected my perfect bath. I've got a candle. I've got my Laura Mercier bubble bath, which I am very quickly going through. I've got the cow shed calming bath salts and they are just incredible. We then have some of my favorite cow shed shower gels, body lotions as well. I just put them the body lotion there because it looks cute. I then also have a little bubble bath from Bramley. This is a new brand that I found this year uh, when I stayed at the Pig Hotels and Honestly, this is just the best scent. It is so gorgeous. There's almost like a little bit of gingeriness to it as well. Um, I know it's mostly like orange, geranium, lavender, but there's something a little bit gingery about it and I love it. Bath with loads of bubbles. I've also just completely cleaned the bathroom. So this is such a Zen space now. And of course we've got Get More Girls. You guys, I've just got home after the weekend and look what arrived for me. This is Skim's packaging. If you are not familiar with it, Kim Kardashian has sent me things. I can die happy now. Shall we open this together? I'm so excited. Oh my God. You have no idea how excited I am about this bra because I actually have tried to buy it several times and I missed out. But yeah, Skims is now available on Selfridges and Net-A-Porter, which is very exciting. I am really intrigued by the solution where I haven't actually got any of this. I have like a, I think it's the mesh waist trainer, so it's not really that restrictive, but just great for when I'm hideously bloated. But this will be so interesting to try out um, underneath dresses and stuff like that. This is just going to be so comfy. I have loads of the bras. I'm actually wearing the white um, kind of cotton one right now and then there's a little underwear as well goals and i love this color i don't have any of the skims in this color so so whilst i'm hearing completely unrelated things but it was just literally um on my bed this is the book i'm reading at the moment and i'm really enjoying it loads of people on instagram were like oh my god don't bother reading it just read some like actual agatha christie but uh, i'm not wasting a book <laughs> so um i've been reading this and just enjoying it so much so if you're looking for just like a little bit of a kind of easy read but that kind of keeps you really hooked um over the christmas season or just in general because i read this stuff all year round then definitely check this out i'll link it in the info box good morning by the way it is monday it is actually like midday already i worked at ryan's this morning and i came back to my house and then had to like do my makeup while still in my coat because my house was like 13 degrees it was so cold i need to get my heating set up so i can turn it on when i'm not at home because honestly it's so freezing i'm still so cold now but yeah i did my makeup this morning i really like it i did like quite a dark smoky under eye i feel like i could have gone even smokier i really used to shy away from like a dark eye because it's not like really i feel like it's not like the trend of how everyone does their makeup at the moment but it suits my eyes the best so i'm just really embracing it um it's hair wash day so it's looking cute, but my hair is now long enough that I can just about get it into like a higher ponytail. It's not like down here because I really like the way it kind of like lifts my face and looks really sleek. But yeah, feeling cute. I've also changed all my earrings. I've got all Astrid and Mew Huggies on this ear. And I also changed this one as well. So this is also an Astrid and Mew Huggy. And it just looks so cute. I don't know why I did this to myself though, because I'm gonna have to change them all back when I wash my hair later, because I don't like to get shampoo on like the sparkly bits. Mostly showing your ear in a vlog is impossible and also just not cute, but 
there you go i will link everything that is in my ear in the info box my outfit today ignore the pile behind me i got a load of stuff out of my loft last night and i need to now put it away loads of like winter scarves winter coats that kind of vibe yeah i'm wearing this top which is from misguided i basically wanted something quite light but that was going to keep me quite warm and the material of this is just that kind of material where you naturally like are a little bit warmer and i love that for this time of year and then i've got varley leggings on which aren't my favorite leggings they're this kind of material that gets stuff stuck to them a lot but but they're just great for around the house and really really comfy like really stretchy on the waist which i love and then white company socks and slippers because it is that time of year this is how cold it is in the house we have swapped hot water bottle duties and i am now her hot water bottle Are you okay i'll keep you warm don't worry she was following me around for ages and i was like you're cold aren't you <laughs> bless you you've got your jumper on and we're all snuggled a little bit later i've just finished uploading vlogmas 3 and replying to comments i'm feeling really good feeling probably the most myself i have felt since well probably in like four months i feel like i feel pretty good but definitely since the start of vlogmas at the very least i'm feeling much more myself hopefully you guys can tell too much um i've just been editing this video and it's actually been really nice to edit i don't really do that very often i really enjoy watching back number one the leaving the house and actually doing something and they're doing something with ryan that wasn't like cooking and just being at home it was so nice to watch so hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog too i'm just making some dinner at the moment my fork's just slipped in the pan that's good I'm gonna do my one pan rice, which is uh, a Susie specialty, but um, I decided to add meatballs into it because I'm so bored of having the same stuff in my food all the time. So we'll call it fusion, but I'm gonna get back to my dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow for a new Vlogmas. Bye. Well, tomorrow for me, not tomorrow for you. Love you, bye.